Hey everyone, uh, my name is Kelvin and today I'm going to show you real quickly here how to use a new feature I'm adding to my watercolor photo effects. It's basically an action script that will give you three options. Uh, one will export a transparent result, basically turning all the white to transparent. Uh, one will uh, export a super high resolution result, uh, basically turning the normal 3000 by 2400 pixel uh, result into a 6000 by 4800 pixel result. And uh, the last one will just create a sort of a snapshot of the watercolor effect and save it in a different document. And uh, I've already got Photoshop uh, loaded up here uh, with a uh, watercolor effect. And uh, I've already got my image in there and the effect has been applied. Uh, so now I can load this little toolkit uh, within the Actions panel. And you can find that by going to Window and then Actions. And uh, you'll see some default actions here uh, usually. And I recommend that you just go to the menu and then clear those actions. We'll do OK. So it's just totally blank. And then go to that menu again and then click Load Actions. And then uh, navigate back to the uh, watercolor effect. And that new toolkit is going to be in the Extras and Updates folder. Uh, so I'll open that up. And uh, here it is. So I'll just click it and then go to Open. And uh, it'll load this action. And it should look like buttons. If it doesn't, uh, if it looks like this, I recommend going to that menu again and then enabling button mode. And uh, this way, these actions will run just by, just by clicking them. So while the effect is open, uh, you can run any of these effects. And the first one is called Make Transparent. And uh, what it will do is it will turn all the white into transparent. So what you probably want to do first, for example, uh, in this case, is it has the paper background enabled. So it has this texture. Uh, I recommend that you turn that off uh, so it's just pure white. And uh, sometimes, uh, depending on which watercolor effect version you have, sometimes that is at the top, sometimes it's going to be at the bottom. But it will have pretty much the same name. It might be paper background or paper texture background, something like that. But just turn it off. And uh, when you run this script, it'll cut all this white, and you'll just have a kind of a PNG result. So I'll click this to run it. And there we go. You can see it removed all the white background. And any little bits of white in the effect itself, it also cut those out. And uh, this is just a handy thing if you want to create a PNG uh, of the uh, watercolor uh, output. So uh, I'm not going to save this one, so I'll close this here. Don't save. Back to the watercolor effect here. And the uh, second one here is called Double Resolution. And uh, what this does is it'll turn your watercolor effect into a super high resolution result, basically double the normal one, which is 3,000 by 2,400. When you run this script, it'll turn it to 6,000 by uh, 4,800. Uh, so I'll click this one to run it. Okay, so when it's all done, it'll pretty much look the same as it did in the uh, original watercolor effect. But if you go over here to Image and then uh, Image Size, uh, you'll see now that it's 6,000 by 4,800. And uh, you can actually see it's... Actually, when you zoom in here, it's changed quite a bit compared to the original. So if I go back to here and zoom in to the uh, same area, yeah, so if I zoom into this area, you're seeing some serious pixelation uh, at this level. Uh, but after you run that double resolution script, it sort of kind of expanded those pixels, made it a little bit rougher, a little bit more convincing. And uh, this is just a great little tool if you want to print huge, huge prints uh, with this uh, watercolor effect. And the uh, last one here is pretty simple. It just takes a snapshot of your result uh, and saves it in a new tab. So we'll run that one here. And uh, here it is. So here's the uh, original effect. I ran the script, and it just took a snapshot, flattened everything, and then put it over here. And this is handy if you want to make some changes over here, but you're not sure if you like them or not, and maybe it's too hard to undo. It'll just kind of preserve that uh, as it was, and then you can continue to make changes just like normally. So hopefully uh, that's a pretty good overview of this uh, new toolkit. I'm going to include it in the uh, other watercolor effects, other than this one here. And uh, you'll get an update, probably an email or something like that. And uh, it'll ask you to download the whole effect again. But if your Wi-Fi is maybe a bit slow and you don't want to download you know, a gigabyte file again, just send me an email. Uh, and I can just send you this, this script just by itself. It's, all, it's less than a megabyte, so it'll be a super tiny file. Uh, and then that way you don't have to re-download the whole effect. But if you don't mind, uh, you can just follow the link in the uh, update email and then just download the whole product again, and it will have this uh, toolkit in that uh, Extras and Updates folder.